Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Alina if you're new here and if you are new, welcome. We're super nice here. Come join the family. And if you're returning, hey, what's up? Hello. Grab your coffee. This is going to be a fun video. We are decluttering and cleaning my entire desk space. I am sitting at my desk right now and for the past few months, it's just been like a place of lots of hecticness for me. I feel like I always drop things here when I come into this room. I'm supposed to be working here, but half the time I end up working on the couch downstairs or in the dining area or in my bed because I just would get so overwhelmed with how much stuff gets on here. And one of my favorite things to do in the new year is to reorganize everything, make everything as organized as possible because you just kind of accumulate a lot of stuff, especially during the holidays. So that's what we're doing today. We're getting nitty gritty organizing. I did a Kanmari desk organization, I think, back in July when I was living. Maybe it was a little earlier than July. Maybe it was two years ago. I can't even really tell time, honestly. But I was doing it at my parents' house, and then I moved out, and I have a bigger desk, but still the same desk I was using before underneath. I'll show you, like, the situation. But the reason why I put two desks on top of one another is because I don't have a separate office space, and sometimes I'm doing big projects, so I pull out the big table that's on top of my desk, and I end up having kind of an L-shaped desk throughout the room. So the top one is like a project desk, and I actually like the way that it sits because that way I have like more space if I need it, but I also have like a little hidden area underneath the desk. But my biggest concern with this table is the fact that I am always pushing things off the table in order to make space. So I'm putting things on my windowsills, which it just makes everything look messy. I'm putting things on my dresser over here and I'm putting things on my dresser over here. And it becomes this thing where it's just everything's crowded. The room looks like a mess, all because it all started from the desk. So today we are dealing with that. And first thing you got to do is you got to remove everything you have on your desk because it's just, it's too much. I'm going to keep things in the drawers and we're going to do one drawer at a time because they're still pretty organized. But if you have a situation in there and you're in your little containers and such, you need to pull everything out because your drawers cannot be miscellaneous. That's not allowed. Not in this household. So get yourself a coffee. This is my second one for the day because I need help. One thing I refuse to do is function when my hair is down. I don't know. My psoriasis is acting up and my hair gets in my face. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. So I just need it up. So I'm putting a headband on. If you guys know, I actually have a headband brand. We also make masks. This is one of my favorite masks that I'm currently using, but uh, they're reversible, by the way. But anyways, I'm going to pop this mask on. I mean, not the mask. What am I saying? I need more coffee. I'm going to pop my headband on just to get myself together, which, by the way, I think by the time this video is up, you guys are going to see. Um, we actually launched hand knit hats. They're so cute, you guys, and they're so warm and so light. Um, wait, I love them. They're like really, really comfy, and I am obsessed. My mom knits them. You should definitely check them out. They're super cute, great gifts, and especially right now because it's like super freaking cold here in New Jersey. I wear mine all the time. Um, so if you're looking for like a really cute, high quality hat, definitely check it out. Okay, let's clean. All right, so we're going to start off with cleaning the entire space. This means removing all the junk and everything that piled up on top of your desk, moving it to a different area. I don't care. You could put it on the floor, your bed, another dresser. It doesn't matter. You just need to see the table clean. So once we do that, also, what the heck is my camera doing right now? I came to work. I'm functioning, okay? Let's give it a second. I promise it won't do that again in the rest of the video. And then we wipe down the dust. We clean everything off. That includes lamps and anything else. And now we can go ahead and get started. So here comes the thrilling part of cleaning out your drawers. Now, I don't know what you keep in your desk. I have it organized where I have like stationery at the top where it's like pens and stuff. So we're starting out with that. We're going to test out all the writing utensils because your girl loves color coding her notes. I love planning and using multiple different colors. I have different pens for different needs. I know I'm extra, but because I have so many, I'm going to test out every single piece. And there's actually a few that I didn't enjoy writing with, so I decided I'm going to give them away to somebody else or donate them. And then there's also like just ones that didn't work anymore and I wasn't even aware and it was taking up space. So go ahead, test everything out and organize it so it's easy to reach. It is pleasant to look at 
and whatever it is that you use most often should be closest to you when you're sitting at your desk and once you're done it should look like this all right so i basically finished this drawer and this is what it looks like now it's a lot more organized we have um, a couple of things that i just pulled out that i knew were not necessarily in the best like quality or shape so i got rid of them because if i haven't used them in six months i'm probably not going to use them anytime soon um i love my stationery i love taking notes i am still taking like online courses here and there just for fun and I am obsessed with stationery. So for me, this is an important drawer. I wanna have access to my highlighters, my colorful pens, my black and blue pens. And then I also have these Sharpies that I really like. Um, they're great for like not leaking onto other pages and such. Um, I have my pencils there because I don't really use pencils all that much. My Expo markers because I use them for my whiteboard. I don't really do too much paperwork anymore. Um, on occasion, I do have some, so. I feel like these paper clips and things are going to last me until the day I die because I just don't see any need for buying any new ones anytime soon. I have my whiteouts and then I have some backup batteries and a little stand for my iPad and just some wire things over here. And then over here I'm going to actually go through my SD cards because I do a lot of filming for my vlog and for my main channel where you're watching this video. And I want to make sure I have the SD cards easy access because when I can find them and they're all in one spot, it's a lot easier to keep track of footage and make sure videos are uploaded in a timely manner. So that's where I'm going to keep those. All right, so for SD cards, the most annoying thing I think is finding an SD card that is either broken or just full of footage. So I have a few that are broken and I know the fact that they're broken because it took a bit for me to get the footage off of them just to make sure that I didn't lose anything. So this one's definitely broken. So I need to go through that and see if there's any footage on there that I need. Um, they sometimes crack. They're really, really sensitive. Okay, now moving on back to our drawers. Now, I started with the first one having a category of stationery. My next one is cameras. I use cameras for work, so it's something important. You can have something completely different in this drawer, it doesn't matter, but the most important thing is that you're organizing by category so that every drawer kind of, you know what lives inside there. So I'm really happy with how this drawer came out. Obviously not everyone's gonna have this many cameras, if you have something else that is related to your job, like for me, cameras are a main part of the process. For you, maybe you have staplers or, you know, hole punchers or something like that. That's something I would put in this drawer because that's something that you need on a day-to-day -day basis. For me, it's cameras. So I went ahead and put the batteries with the light um, that I usually use and put on a lot of different cameras. So it's just convenient to have this guy right over here. These are all charged, so I will know when they're charged. They go here. If they're not charged, they go onto the charger. For now, this is the only camera equipment I have. And then now we can move on to this next drawer. This is where I keep that big camera. Um, and it's getting, it's gotten a little messy. <laughs> now this is probably the least exciting drawer for me. It has things that I don't really reach for, but when I do need them, I need to find them and I just need to fingers crossed that it's not like tangled up in something else. And these are the exact drawers that are the most important to go through. I ended up having the same wire, like I think there was like eight or nine of them. And I know half of them didn't work, so I could get rid of them. This is the kind of stuff that needs to be decluttered. All right, so this drawer, I am so happy with how it turned out. It was really easy because I've already kind of had everything organized by category. I just had to like look through it really quick. These are all attachments to cameras, so it could be lighting, it could be like the GoPro little setups for like attaching to either a helmet or a bike or whatever, um, and just a few like attachments to tripods, that kind of stuff. Over here we have all the chargers for all the batteries, uh, whether it's microphones, cameras, anything. This here is actually something I have to test, but I'm not gonna do it now because we're filming. This is a battery that is like a continuous battery and I bought it a long time ago. I used to use it a lot for filming, but it has a European plug, so it has to be um, used with a converter. And I remember it not working. So I wanna test that if I don't 
need that and if it doesn't work anymore I can just toss it and replace that with like headphones or something. Here are all my tripods that are like handheld. That's where I keep them when I need like a camera and a tripod. I can just pull the camera, pull the tripod and start vlogging or whatever it is. So this is done and now I'm so excited to say the last thing we have are notebooks. And those are pretty easy to go through I think. Now as for notebooks, I feel like if you're a notebook girl, you you know what I'm talking about. You love notebooks. Like I used to have a serious problem, but I write in them a lot and I love writing my to-do lists. I love doing a lot of things, but I'm currently transitioning more to digital things. So here I am, I'm pulling out pieces of the notebook that I really don't need anymore. Like if I wrote a to-do list a few years ago or months ago, I can rip that out and recycle it because it does like diminish the clutter. Now I want to keep everything elevated. So I'm using this little pegboard from Ikea with little attachments because it's a great way to store the things that you need and that you'd love to keep on your desk but in reach, but off of the tabletop. So I keep my planner in there, I keep my notebooks in there. It just helps give me more space. All right, so that's the finished organization. I am so happy with how this turned out. I will give you guys a quick tour of what it looks like, but look at all this space. So something that I added, um, I went ahead and put my chargers. By the way, sorry, I cut my finger. If you see my Band-Aid, uh, it's the next morning. A lot has happened. I have new hair. I'll show you guys in the next video. These are the chargers for my iPads, and I have one iPad right here and the other one right behind this notebook, and so if I need to charge them, I can just pull it up and plug it in right from the bottom, which I think is really convenient. And I also put uh, the charger for my laptop here because it just will always be charging when I'm not using it. I added two little plants, moved my little Google um, Home over here so it's kind of hidden out of the way but it's still in the middle of the room. I really like how this turned out because I can see the calendar, everything's great. I even plugged this into my Google. I decided to keep the desk light up there just to, again, free up space over here. And I'm really happy with how this all turned out. We still have all of these super organized, really nice and easy to reach. These cameras look pristine. And every other drawer in here, I still haven't put the big camera in here, but it will. I even added like some headphones. But everything just looks so nice and tidy and it makes me so happy and so motivated. And I also moved the plugs behind the trash can so it's nice and neat over there, which I think is actually a big thing as well. Also, something I didn't show you guys in this organization because I did it separately off camera, but I have three drawers here that are for my desk stuff. So in here I have paperwork, I have excess like markers and arts and crafts things. Because I'm not going to throw these out. These still work and stuff, but they're not essential for everyday use. I have some stickers for planners that I don't really use too much anymore. A bunch of post-its. So this is kind of like the overflow. And then we also have this drawer here, which is equipment for um, filming. I don't really reach for this. Like these are travel bags for cameras. We have like random like little things in case... I need to attach stuff like I don't know it's it's really like much very much overflow and then down here we just have my drone more cases another stabilizer an extra um, tape thing and lovely little mug warmer <laughs> so nothing super exciting but it does help to make this space clear to have extra stuff in there and I'm really happy with how I did that because it's also really easy especially with this drawer it feels like an extension of my desk so if like I need to put papers in there it just like I can keep the drawer open and just feel like I'm you know have more space <laughs> so overall I am so happy with how this turned out I hope you guys organize your own desks and get more space to be productive and do your work and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Join the family. We're super nice here. And I hope you have a very organized new year.